Diddley was an early pioneer of R&B and rock and roll. His onstage persona was exciting to audiences in America and even influenced the Beatles and the Rolling Stones across the Atlantic Ocean in England. His larger-than-life performance style included flashy outfits, intense dancing, and his signature rectangular guitar. Bo Diddley also incorporated musical ideas like call and response and single chord songs with a driving rhythm based around the five beat African clave. This rhythmic style was a hallmark of his recordings and his popularization of the clave rhythm has influenced 50 years of music. The so-called Bo Diddley beat is a classic American groove. Let's check out the Bo Diddley beat in this episode of Beats and Style. The clave rhythm has roots all throughout sub-Saharan Africa. The five-note pattern is recognizable to most people in some way. Latin music from the Caribbean islands relies heavily on the clave. The Cuban instrument itself is called clave, and the word clave means key in Spanish. Most of the time, clave is counted over two measures and split into two halves or sides, the three-side and the two-side. Each side of the clave is one measure long when counted this way. The Bo Diddley beat for drum set is centered around the floor tom. It's a 16th note rhythm that uses an accent pattern that exactly mirrors each beat in the clave rhythm. The clave rhythm is this. One and two and three and four and 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 one. In order to understand this, you must become familiar with this rhythm. So count and clap along while I play for another few measures. One, two, ready, and. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Start with the pattern right, left, right, right, right. Following the clave count, play this sticking on the floor tom. This is an outline, the accents only. The rest you fill in with ghost notes later on. Using a 16th note rhythm and alternating sticking, you can complete the pattern. By using a 16th note count, the clave accent pattern is complete in one measure instead of two. Go slowly, take the time to work it out. The foot pattern used here is a simple two beat feel. The bass drum plays a quarter note on every downbeat, one, two, three, four, and the hi-hat plays a chick sound on all the upbeats, one and two and three and four and. Like any drum set rhythm, there's countless variations and you can play these grooves many different ways. Start with this simple beat. You can always branch out from there. Typically, in early rock and roll, the bass drum was very simple anyway, so this is a great place to begin. Let's try the basic two-beat feel and go from there. Be sure that you count and keep things steady, especially when you add the hands. Make sure the drumsticks, hi-hat cymbals, and bass drum beater all line up, striking at the exact same time. Having things line up correctly is critical to a tight groove, 
so go slow at first to be certain that it's smooth enough. In many groups, it's common to have one or more members playing some auxiliary hand percussion parts every now and then, if not all the time, to create interesting alternative feels and sounds within the groove. The instrument used on a lot of Bo Diddley's recordings for this purpose is the maracas. Usually sold in pairs and played in pairs, the maraca is a gourd type instrument with pellets or shot inside and you create the sound by shaking it or waving it back and forth, like this. Or if you use both of them together, you can play an eighth note pattern rather than a sixteenth note pattern, like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. As you can see, the back stroke is equally as important as the down stroke. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Let's see how it sounds together. I'll play the part on drums and then I'll play the part on maracas and put them together so you see how they all line up. The maracas really do add a lot and when it comes to hand percussion, a little bit goes a long way. Here we go.